Okay, so we're doing Cyprus. Yep. So on the cruise ship, we went to, we had a stop in Limassol, Cyprus, and we did an excursion through the cruise ship. And it was wine tasting, ancient wines, so the vineyards um, kind of cultivating and trying to resurrect ancient strands of wine. And so they drove us all the way up into the mountains. It was like an hour drive and all the way up into the tops. And so the tour guide talked for a long time about the history and the way that the, the wines from Cyprus were mentioned in the Bible and mentioned throughout ancient times and mentioned like hundreds of years before Christ. And um, so we went to three different wineries. The boys went with us, even though they couldn't have the wine, they um, were given juices at each stop and they got to have some of the foods. Everyone got juices. Mm, no, we had wine, you had juices. And then, um, it was a morning excursion, and so we were back on board the ship by like 1 or 2 p.m. And then um, David and Everett did a shuffleboard tournament, and Simon and I rested. And then that evening, we caught a marimful. What was the name of the show? We caught a show. Um, it was kind of part comedy, part dance. Don't pick your nose. Part aerial acrobatics. Yeah, there were some silks. So, okay. Are you ready to go? Do you know what you liked? Okay, yeah. uh, so I don't know what I learned. My favorite part was the show. My least favorite part was being bored out during the wine tasting. My favorite Wait, part- Wait, what about, did you learn something about how almonds look on their skin? Oh yeah. And I learned that uh, almonds are, uh, that uh, almonds are like, have like fuzzy shells like on the outside all right, the program. right it's all the same thing as simon my favorite part was the show my least favorite part was the winery and and the thing that i i don't think i learned anything on that day but i did learn, learn that uh, that almonds has a fuzzy shell around the almonds okay yeah my favorite part was the wine excursion it was really fun um I think particularly the moment we have a photo where we're standing in a vineyard and they keep their their um, their grape plants short to the ground to force them to grow deeper roots because water is a problem. And um, we're standing there and it's just overlooking because it's high on the on the hills and it's overlooking uh, the the island or the country. Well, I guess it's not an island, the country, whatever. It's an island. It's an island, just a really big one. Um, so yeah yeah it is an island so overlooking anyways that was lovely and so it was just really fun getting to try the wines and the local foods they brought they had local bakeries and local places bring up the little hors d'oeuvres that went with it so that was really fun and then my least favorite part was being really tired we crashed it was yeah we came back really tired and then something I learned was about the short, I guess I kind of said it, but the short plants and the deep roots. And they were, they were planted just kind of um, all just scattered like polka dots throughout the, throughout the field. And um, they're gonna grow up like shrubs, like freestanding. And um, that's how it was traditionally done. They, he said that they are converting their fields over to being um, wired and trellised like um, everyone else does, but that this was the traditional um, way of doing it. So that was interesting. Yep. I really enjoyed the wine tasting too. It was fun. Um, a lot of the wines, they, I mean, tasted really different than what we have, than what we're used to and what we tasted compared to like, you know, Oregon, California, Washington wines, and even Italian wines, they yeah, taste, they taste very it's a, you know, some of it were, were pretty unique. It, at least the ones, the white wines were really unique. The red ones that they served us were all blends with Cabernet, and so they tasted like Cabernet. Yeah. But the white ones white, tasted yeah. unique. Um, well, and the sweet one, the grape, the one yeah. where they sun dry the grapes. And then one that's the famous, unique to the islands, like called Constantine or something, um, is from Crusader era where they no it was older than that this it was is older one, than no, that this but this is the one hundred years before Christ that's mentioned in the Bible Crusader era profited off of it but yeah that, that's the ancient, off, but that's, that's how, the got, but that's how it got the name the the constant oh uh, okay okay but Constantine that that from, wine is the super ancient one that's been around pre-bible times yeah yeah they're known for it 
Right, just, they're, they're known for it, but it's a super sweet wine where they basically dry the grapes and turn them into raisins and then press those. Yeah, um, so it's really sweet. So it's, it's a sweet dessert cake. wine, um, which I didn't really particularly care for. It. I liked it. It was too sweet. I mean, it's a dessert It's very wine. sweet. They say they pour it over the ice cream. It's very sweet. But it was, I like it, so, but I like sweet stuff. Um, it was, yeah, it was fun. We had a lot of interesting local pastries and stuff. Yeah, so it was good. Um, the show was fun, too but yeah. I like wine tasting. Um, I don't know. Least favorite, Least favorite part? part? Drinking too much wine. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you gotta get used to just dumping it in the slot bucket. But the um, winemakers were grumpy at me for doing that. Um, you learned about the robot. Oh, <laughs> so the the first winery we went to, the, um, the ball, the Constantine, I know it's not the name. It's like no, it's not. Anyways, we can anyway, go. um, that the bottle from that winery was what Johnny Depp was drinking out of in Pirates of the Caribbean, um, which was kind of funny. And they didn't know about it until five years after the movie came out. And they said in the background you can hear two people speaking C Cypriot, Cypriot. Anyways. Yeah, they're Cypriots. This, yeah, you can hear two background people speaking the Cyprian language. Uh, the um, together, and that one of them had had their bottle. With them and i guess the pirates of the caribbean makers liked it and so that's what johnny was drinking out of so they were like buy a bottle of this and you have a bottle and you have a bottle like johnny depp so yep so that, so was, that was cyprus, cyprus.